What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I am super excited because we are going to be doing another Dollar Tree makeup tutorial. These are some of my favorite makeup tutorials to film for you guys because honestly I have had such good luck at Dollar Tree with actually finding makeup that's really really good. So I love to do these on my channel to show you guys that you do not have to spend a ton of money to still get like a bomb makeup look. So I'm hoping that my good luck continues with Dollar Tree and the stuff that we got today is good stuff. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if you guys do enjoy these sorts of videos. Let me know down below any other retail you guys want me to shop for makeup at that I can do like a full face of makeup from. Also be sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not already and hit that bell right next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified of all my future uploads and without further ado let's go ahead and get started. Alright so first things first I do want to show you guys the little blender sponge that I got. I am going to go ahead and wet this but this is the Sassy Chic Blender Sponge. So I haven't had the best luck with sponges from Dollar Tree. A lot of times they've been really hard but we'll see with this one because I actually haven't tried uh, one from the Sassy and Chic brand. I'm going to take it out. This actually came in a variety of different colors, but I decided to get the lime green one because I don't have any blender sponges that are lime green, so I figured I wouldn't get it like mixed up with other ones that I have. It definitely feels hard, um, but this is like completely dry, so I'm going to go ahead and wet this. So I'll be right back, and once we dampen it, we'll see if it uh, feels a little less like a brick. Okay, so I feel like dampening this did absolutely nothing. Like I feel like it's the exact same size that it was. It didn't even expand, and it's just as hard as it was when it was dry. So we're just going to go in with foundation and see how it works. Um, the foundation that I picked up is right here. This is from LA Colors. This is the Liquid Makeup foundation I guess. I got this in shade natural. There wasn't that many shades at my Dollar Tree. There was only two. Uh, so this is the one that was closest to me. So we're going to try and make it work. That is definitely something um, that does kind of stink about Dollar Tree and Dollar Store makeup in general in my experience is that the shade ranges are not very good. Normally there's like maybe three products in a range, like three different shades and that's like a good day. <laughs> um, so yeah, like this was, there was only two. But uh, we're gonna go and try this. This is small. So this is 0.42 fluid ounces where a typical foundation would be um, one fluid ounce. So this is less than half of what a typical foundation would be. But again, it's a dollar. So like you could literally buy 20 or 30 of these um, to like be the same price as a high-end foundation. So we're gonna go ahead and pump this out. Oh, came out on the first pump, which I'm surprised. Normally I have to pump those for a long time. I'm gonna just apply this. Not really sure how much to use. So that's about two and a half pumps. We'll go in with that first. We'll start with that. And I'm gonna go in with my, my lovely cinder block and blend that all out. It's definitely a light coverage. It's not a full coverage foundation. Um, but it actually, it has a nice like fresh smell to it. I like the smell. And it's blending out very easily, although it's just not giving me a ton of coverage. I would say it's closer to like BB cream as far as coverage goes. But I mean, it's blending out easily and it smells nice. This is definitely really, really hard. Um, I like the other blender sponge. I did a different Dollar Tree makeup tutorial, I wanna say maybe like four or five months ago or so, which I can link down below. Um, and I had a different blender sponge. I found a different Dollar Tree in that one. That one was better than this one for sure. Um, but a really good affordable blender sponge, it's not a dollar, but it's not that expensive. I would think it's $6, is from uh, Real Techniques. It's orange. That's a really, really nice one. This one is not, is not good. I won't use this again. The foundation though really wasn't bad. It's just, it's definitely not full coverage. So if that's what you're looking for, this isn't gonna work for you, but it did give like a nice kind of sheen to my skin. I am gonna go in with a little bit more of it just to try and cover up my redness. Um, but it smells really nice and it blends it out very easily. So I don't have any complaints there. I'm gonna go in with like two and a half pumps again, honestly, because I feel like I could use it. Okay, I'm gonna blend this out. I do feel like it is building up in coverage. Now I would say it's like medium coverage or so. But if you guys can kind of see, like I have a blemish on my forehead right now, a nice pimple, um, and this really isn't covering it up. <laughs> uh, but that's okay. I feel like on a good skin day where I don't have a blemish, this would actually be like more than enough. I would say that it's similar to like a BB or a CC cream, but definitely is nice. Like I don't have any complaints and for a dollar, I think it is pretty good. All right, next normally we would do concealer and unfortunately I could not find a concealer at Dollar Tree. I actually went to three Dollar Trees and the only one that I could find was from LA Colors and it's the concealer that I tried in my original Dollar Tree makeup tutorial. So that's the only concealer that I could find and I actually couldn't even find one in my shade. The only one they had was like a really, really dark shade that would have literally been like a contour on me. So after going to three Dollar Trees, I gave up. So I am just gonna go in with regular concealer. I'm really sorry. Um, this is from Maybelline. This is the Instant Age Rewind. I got at Dollar General, which is sort of like a dollar store. It's like a discount 
store. I did a full face of Dollar General makeup as well, and I think this was like $5 there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open this up, and I'm gonna use this as my concealer real quick. Everything else, I was able to find something to work, though. So I'm gonna just go in with this. This is an amazing, amazing drugstore concealer. Kind of just crank it. I'm gonna go in underneath my eyes with this. I love the applicator on this. It's like a sponge tip, and it feels so nice. And this is in the shade Neutralizer, so it's a very like yellowy shade, as you could see. Um, but it does really do a good job of brightening, which is what I like. I'm gonna bring it on my T-zone as well. All right, gonna go back in with my little blender sponge and blend this all out. I feel like maybe it's the blender sponge that's actually making stuff not like super full coverage, which is kind of weird, but I feel like all of that was just like picked up from my face and is now just on this sponge. Cause I'm like, I've used this concealer before and it normally has pretty good coverage where I feel like now it doesn't. So I wonder if it's this sponge and like the foundation would have been more coverage had I not been using this sponge. Kind of interesting. Hmm. Because I definitely feel like this concealer is more, like, in the past when I've tried it with a regular beauty blender or whatever, it's a lot more coverage. Like, I feel like this is just picking it up off my face, which is very interesting. Which I kind of noticed that when I was applying the foundation, but because I'm not familiar with what the foundation's like applied, like, in any other way, I didn't realize it. But, like, I know how this concealer normally is. Alrighty, well, I feel like my face kind of looks a little bit like a mess from that. Um, but we're gonna continue on, okay? We're not giving up now. So the next thing, I always set my concealer with like a light powder. So they didn't have that at Dollar Tree, but what they did have was this little three color eyeshadow palette. What I thought this would be great for is I could use this shade to set the under eye concealer like very lightly. And then I thought that I could use this shade to do my brows because that's another thing at Dollar Tree, um, any of the brow products at the Dollar Trees that I went to were all literally black was like the shade. I couldn't even find brown, let alone anything like taupe or blonde. So I definitely knew that I had to go with eyeshadow to do my brows, but I actually like doing my brows with eyeshadow. It's totally fine. It's just like a brow powder basically. Um, so that's what I got this little eyeshadow palette for. I got a different eyeshadow palette for our eyes. Um, but I figured that we could kind of use that as like multi-purpose. So I'm going to go in with this eyeshadow right here on a little brush and set my under eye concealer with it. I'm not going to use a lot of this just because it is going to be, you know, more pigmented since it's an eyeshadow, but you can definitely do this. And it actually works really well. And it's helping to add a little bit of coverage back into that under eye area since a lot of it was picked up on the beauty sponge. So no complaints on that front. So I'm just gonna use this to set anywhere that I used the concealer. All right, so that worked really well. And now I'm gonna go in with this middle shade in this palette. Again, this is from LA Colors. This is called Orchid. Um, and I'm gonna do my brows. So I am just gonna go in with the powder to define out my brows. I normally find when I use powder instead of like a uh, pencil on my brows, it gives me a more natural look to my brows, which I really like with like certain sort of makeup looks. Like this is definitely not gonna give you the boldest of brows, um, especially for me, cause the shade that I'm using is a bit light. Like it's coming off lighter than I thought. It's better though that it's lighter than too dark because then it would just look crazy. But it's definitely gonna give like a more natural appearance to the brows. We are gonna move on to our eyes now. So for our eyes, I got this palette. This is from the brand Color Mates. I honestly mainly got this side so much stuff from LA Colors because that is the brand that like my Dollar Tree had the most of. So I wanted to try like different brands. So I went with this Color Mates eyeshadow palette. And this is in the shade Island Oasis. I picked this one specifically because I felt like it had so many different like sorts of shades. Like we have like warm tone neutrals and we have a bunch of like cool kind of smoky eyes and then we have some blues in here. So I mean it definitely gives you versatility and there are 12 different eyeshadows in this palette. So it's 12 eyeshadows for a dollar. So that is a really, really good deal. Um, they are all pretty much shimmer shades aside from this white here. So what I'm actually going to do is go back into that shade that I used for my eyebrows because that is a matte, this shade right here. So I'm going to use this quickly on my crease and then we can go in with different colors to kind of build it up. But I do want to use a little neutral shade. So I am going to dig into that real quick and just apply that to the crease quickly. And this is just going to help with all the other colors to blend. All right. So we've got this all blended out in the crease. 
Now we're going to jump back in. I think I'm going to use like these gray scale like colors and kind of do like a smoky eye. Um, so I am first going to go in with this shade right here. It's kind of in the middle and start that in the crease. And then we can build it up kind of gradually. So I'm going to bring that into the crease. This is a shimmer shade, which normally I wouldn't use in my crease. I like to stick with mattes, but this actually is pretty, pretty pigmented. It's blending fine. So no worries with that. And I'm going to kind of do this like a wash on the lid and we're going to continue on till we get like the deepness and the depth that we want. Um, with the deeper shades Okay, then I'm gonna go in with the next deepest color what I'm actually gonna do with that color is I'm going to first apply to my lid I'm gonna spritz my brush with a little fix plus um, you definitely don't have to use fix plus This is from Mac much more than a dollar and unnecessary You can literally just wet your brush with good old water um, And it's gonna give you the same sort of effect with your eyeshadows um, It's just gonna help to make them apply a little bit more pigmented so I'm going to pack this color on the lid and then we're going to work it into the crease. So I'm just going to go in and pack this on. The Fix Plus definitely helps also to like adhere the shadows to the lid and like minimize fallout, which is nice. Then I'm going to just do the same thing on the other side. It has been a while since I have done like a true, true smoky, like a gray eye like this, but I like it. I like it. This is definitely going to be a bold makeup look because I have a red lip too. So we're going bold today. And then in the crease, I'm going to build up both of these two shades. I'm just going to work that in the crease. We can blend everything together so we don't have any harsh lines. These actually blend really nicely with each other. Like a lot of times eyeshadows, especially shimmers in the crease, can just like pull and tug at each other. But these are actually working really well, like layered on top of each other, which is very nice. I think all of this stuff was like $14 and that was for like an entire face aside from concealer. Where you honestly these days could easily spend $14 on one drugstore product, not even like high end. Alright, I did get a little fallout so I'm just brushing that off. No worries there. And we are going to go in on our lower lash line with those two darker colors mixed together as well. And just smudge that out down there. Oh my gosh, it has been so long since I have done such a dark eye. All right, so I think we are good on eyeshadow. I have some in my eyeball on this side. Ooh. For my eyeliner, I got the auto eyeliner. This is from LA Colors in the shade black. So I'm gonna use this in both my waterline and on my upper lid because we have some lashes that we're gonna apply. So I wanna do a thin little line on my lid here so that we can apply the lashes. This is pretty good actually. It's like very buttery. It's gliding on my eyelid and stuff, no problem. So, all right, got that all going. Then I'm gonna go on with these uh, lashes. So these are from Wet n Wild and they actually come with glue as well. I'm not gonna use the glue um, because I'm allergic to latex, so I have to use latex free lash glue, but that is really nice that it comes with this. So not only do you get the lashes, but you get the glue um, to apply it. So these are the style C971A. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop this on. This was a longer lash. Although I didn't trim it, I think I can make it work. But they're definitely a little bit on the longer side. Definitely more of like a natural lash. Like you guys know I like big and bold and wispy and stuff, but this is still very, very pretty. And once we blend my um, actual lashes in with mascara, I think it'll be a little bit more bold. Then just going to pop on the other one as well. Alrighty, for our mascara, I got the LA Colors Volume Mascara. They had a couple, like they had like a lengthened one, a defined one, and then the volume. So I got the volume one, obviously. Um, but it is nice that they had a couple of different options if you like want to do specific things with your lashes. Alrighty, so I am going to go in with this on my lower lashes. Because I feel like we'll really be able to see how it works on them. And then I will use it just to blend my natural lashes with the falsies on the upper I have not had great luck with dollar store mascaras. I feel like they're normally very, very natural um, and don't do like a ton to the lashes besides just, you know, tint them and make them darker, obviously, especially in my case since my lashes are so light. Like at least it makes them darker. But I don't see this doing a ton more than that, honestly. But since we do have the falsies on, we don't need, you know, 
tons and tons of volume. Okay, despite the mascara not being super great, I do still really like how the eye look turned out. Like, I feel like it looks really nice, so no complaints on that. Um, next, I'm a little nervous for this, I'll be honest. This is the LA Colors Contour Stick in the shade Medium. So we're gonna try this on the face to contour. And I guess I'm gonna use that same sponge because I don't have anything else really. Not sure how this is gonna be to contour. Oh my gosh, it's so windy outside. If you guys hear noise, I'm sorry, it's the wind. But we're gonna go in, contour cheeks with this. I do get a bronzer, so we'll use that after. Oh, it's not that dark, so this should be okay to blend out. I was nervous. And then go in with this guy to blend. Do you guys see? Like, I feel like that literally, it didn't blend it out, just picked it up off of my face. This blender sponge is not the best. <laughs> but I feel like everything else isn't bad. But I feel like this just picked up like 90% of the product. Okay, all right. That is that on the contour. I do have a bronzer though that I want to use all over my face. So this is from the brand Beauty Benefits and this is the Silky Bronzer. So it says it's an oil-free, lightweight, flawlessly tan bronzer. So that sounds really nice. This is the first product that I've tried from this brand. So I'm really excited. This is what it looks like. So I am going to go in with this to just bronze up the face. I like the shade on this a lot. It's very like neutral. Brown, like it's not too warm, not too cool, so it's good to really bronze up the skin. And then for our blush, I'm gonna go in with this Aziza Studios blush. So you kind of get two shades with this. This one does come with this tiny, tiny <laughs> little brush. I'll use it to apply the blush. I don't normally use like the little applicators that come with like the eyeshadows and stuff because it's like nearly impossible, honestly, to blend with those. But with blush, I feel like you could use the little applicator. So I'm gonna just mix a little bit of both. And I'll go in. I don't know why this is so tiny though. Like nobody's cheeks are this tiny. But this blush is actually nice. Gives a nice little flush to the cheeks. I feel like I'm using a little cartoon thing though with this. Oh my gosh. Okay, this next product, I don't know what to think. This was the only thing they had there that was a highlighter. Um, so I'm not sure. The last time that I did a Dollar Tree makeup tutorial, I bought an eyeshadow and I used that as my highlighter. Um, this actually said like highlighter on it. This is the LA Colors Conceal and Correct. So they had a couple of these. They have like a yellow one, a like purple one to like neutralize and stuff. And they have this white one, which is a highlighter. So we are going to try this. I don't know how it's going to work or if it's going to be good. Oh my God. And you know what, you guys? Speaking of highlight, I just realized I forgot to do highlight on my eyes. So we're going to hold on our face highlight, go back into our eyeshadow palette, and I'm going to go in with this white to do our highlight. Oh my God. I can't believe I forgot. I'm going to just jump in with the white on the inner corner just to make that pop. Good thing I remembered this. And then right beneath the brow bone as well. There we go. So now we have highlight on our eyes. I can't believe I forgot. And we are gonna use this to highlight our face. So this is like what it looks like. I don't know that I'm gonna apply it directly with the doe foot. Um, I'm debating if I should use the Dollar Tree sponge. I use the Dollar Tree sponge on one side and then the Morphe sponge on the other. And we'll see, I guess I will apply it directly, just a little bit. Um, and now I'm gonna go in with the Dollar Tree sponge and blend it. It's a little difficult to blend with the sponge, but the actual shade looks pretty. It's just a matter of getting it to blend out with this. So it's like very thin because it didn't blend all that much. I'm gonna apply a little bit directly to the sponge. Because sometimes with liquid highlights, you gotta you gotta play with how the best way is to apply them. Some of them it's better if you apply it to the face and then blend, some of them it's better if you apply it directly to the sponge. So now I apply it directly to the sponge. I think that's going to be better for this one. And this is actually blending it out pretty nice. I think because maybe the Dollar Tree one is picking up a little bit, but depositing some of it, because I thought it was going to be like a really, really stark highlight and it was going to be too much. This is actually way better than I anticipated. I was most nervous about this. But I feel like it actually looks really nice. I don't have any complaints with that. It definitely does dry quickly, so this is a product that you want to work quick with. Um, and I think that helps to blend it out a little bit more the faster you work before it dries. 
impressed by that and then we have our lipstick like I told you guys we're doing red so this is from wet n wild this is in the shade dark wine wet n wild lipsticks are some of my favorite honest to gosh they have a really good lipstick formula and they're only a dollar so sometimes if you buy wet n wild lipsticks elsewhere like at different retailers they can be more than a dollar so definitely go to Dollar Tree if you can to get them but I'm gonna go in and apply this to my lips see how pigmented that is like wet n wild kills it on affordable beauty love this lip color and then last but not least for our lip gloss I got this this is from the Skunsi. I don't how do you say that Skunsi? I don't know brand I've seen this brand before they make like hair ties and stuff but they have a lip gloss so I got the lip gloss and I think it's supposed to like light up or something not sure let's see oh yeah it's one of those lip glosses that lights up like when you apply it then there's like a little mirror that's pretty cool so this is yeah just called the light up lip gloss smells really really good oh my gosh it reminds me of like lip smackers it smells amazing and we're just gonna go on and apply it it has like nice glitter to it i feel like it won't last very long but it smells really nice and i like the little light with the mirror makes applying easy when you're out it kind of feels like it's almost just like a vaseline with like glitter in it but hey all right so this is the completed look it is definitely a little on the bold side i feel like it would look a bit better if my eyebrows were a bit darker just because we have such a bold lip and bold eyes but overall i do really like it i like very much how my eyes turned out for sure i was very impressed with how the eyeshadows work and definitely with that highlighter too i really really liked that so definitely found some really great products and was able to create a nice look with all these products even though they were so so affordable so i hope you guys did enjoy today's video if you did please be sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not already thank you guys so so much for watching and i'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!